Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? Dirty DN Gaming coming back with another Rise of Kingdoms video. And today we're going to be continuing the Commander Overview playlist that we are developing. And we are now shifting into the Cavalry Commanders. Ooh, boy, this is going to be fun. This is going to be exciting. I am a Cavalry main. This is my expertise. So let's jump into the very first Wheel of Fortune Cavalry Commander that you will encounter. I guess he's Season of Conquest, so you get them all, but you know what I mean. Let's jump into it. Okay, so here we are. We have my man, the Tiger of Kai, Takeda Shinjin. Takeda is a cavalry, versatility, and mobility commander, and he is a beast. Spoiler alert. He's probably going to, going to make the cut for investments, but let's check out his skills. First skill, Fierce as the Fire. Takeda Shinjin inflicts a burn effect on the target for 4 seconds, giving all normal attacks against the target a 50% chance to deal extra 50% damage. Extra damage can trigger once every 2 seconds. Very good skill here. Nice debuff, giving all normal attacks. So this is debuffing the target. This is kind of Takeda's bread and butter. He is a pretty nasty debuffer on the field as well as a buffer to your own marches next skill swift as the wind cavalry, un cavalry units led by this commander gain 40 percent increased attack troops normal attacks have a 10 percent chance to increase march speed by 30 percent for three seconds so a pretty standard 40 percent attack you're starting to see this again more and more with commanders 40 percent seems to be kind of that baseline for commanders now and then you're getting a a chance to proc march speed no one really ever knows when this happens so it's just going to be random if you're running away from a battle and you're a little bit faster this is why next skill gentle as the forest for four seconds after using fierce as the fire heals a portion of slightly wounded units every second healing factor 150 when troops led by this commander consist only of cavalry, they gain 40% increased defense. That is very nice. We're getting a lot of things that we like here. We're getting some sustain with a heal for four seconds. So you're getting a decent amount of heals and you're also getting very nice defense bonus. I love the skill a lot. And there's, these skills are pretty straightforward, so they're nice too. Next, immovable as the mountain. Troops led by this commander take 5% reduced skill damage and have a 10% chance when attacked to reduce all incoming normal attacks and counterattack damage by 25% for 3 seconds. So here again you're getting those buffing attributes from Takeda. You're getting normal attack and counterattack damage reduction as well as a always passive skill damage taken reduction. This is very nice as well. And lastly expertise. I'm not even going to try to say that, guys. All target troops with the burning effect. So this is the burning effect that you're going to be giving the target from Fierce's Fire, which is your active skill. Take 30% increased damage from normal attacks. So this is giving you the straight up debuff of the 30% increased damage. And then also over here, you're going to be getting enemy additional normal damage taken so a lot of damage coming out here from Takeda in the form of debuffs there is absolutely no skill damage from this commander whatsoever he is purely a debuffer and buffing march buffing your own troops stat wise purely um Takeda really good I mean you can pair him with pretty much any cav commander and be happy with the result he's just tanky and that is what cavalry really needs please Lil, give us a defense cavalry commander we only have saladin who is a support and no one's running takeda primary in the field if you are then you probably shouldn't but takeda all in all is a very good commander that you can use at any point of season of conquest with pretty much any commander because he is just that versatile where he is giving you insane amounts of defense as well as chances to take reduced damage from his fourth skill. And it's just a really nice debuffing march to have on the field. Now, 
let me go ahead and just just say that I think in my honest opinion that if you are going to go ahead and max Attila and we are going to be doing an MGE version of the cavalry commanders I did already slip and do an Attila video part up in the top if you guys missed that but I believe that Attila Takeda is like peanut butter and jelly don't break them up they should just stay together Partly because of the reason why Attila really kind of needs Takeda. I've tested Attila in the open field with other commanders. And nothing else really does justice the way that Attila and Takeda will. So I think that if you are going to be one of those players investing into Attila. You are going to need to keep Takeda with him at all times. Until we get better options down the road. I really just don't think there's anyone else that you can pair Attila with and get decent results on the field. And when I mean decent, I'm talking about like what you would actually get with Attila Takeda. Like you don't even come close to the trades. So definitely want to keep these guys together. But if you don't have Attila, again, you can flex Takeda into pretty much any cavalry combination and you'd be totally okay with it. Takeda gets... The Dirty Dan, two thumbs up. I kind of would actually give him maybe like a one and a half. Just because I don't think... you, I don't think you, you really, really need him. But no, yeah, we'll, stay, we'll stick with two. We'll stick with the Dirty, two thumbs up. I think he's definitely viable just because you can, you can mix him in with any troop. Uh, like I said, like 5,000 times before this. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We are we are working on making these a little bit quicker. Again, we're just going over skills in these, giving you determination on if they're worthy of investment for Season of Conquest gameplay. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy the video, please consider stopping a like and subscribing down below. It's all totally free and you can change your mind later if you don't like me. And with that, enjoy the rest of your week, guys. Thank you all for the support. Love you. Peace.